what we're going to do next now is we're going to add on the legs to the spider. And the way we do that is we're going to do a skeleton of one black and one white. The white becomes the web and the black becomes the leg. Just loop it and just do that with it. And we are going to need eight of these. Now we have the eight legs, uh, the four set of legs, all set to go. We're going to go ahead and attach it between where the body and the head goes. When you're putting on the pieces, you want to put the black in, and you also want to make sure that you alternate them. Um, optional, but I like to do it just so that it kind of balances out the spider a little bit. So we'll just pull them just like that. And we're going to get close to the part that's confusing you guys the most, which is the beading. Um, beading is like the easiest piece to do. And um, all you're going to need is just to grab some black rubber bands and you're going to be adding them onto the leg. So the way you do a bead is you just grab one of the legs. Uh, we'll take this one right here. And one other rubber band. And you remember how we were looping the rubber bands continuously over the body in pieces? That's all we're going to do. We're just going to loop the rubber band into the leg like this. Twist it. And loop it right over again. And you just do that a few times. You know, I don't really count how many times I loop it. But, um... Like five or six times, I think, is fine. Um, again, just turn it and loop it right over the leg. And then what you start to see is that the piece starts bunching up together, that extra rubber band piece here. in what kind of looks like a leg, um, a bead, what I called it, for the leg. See, so there you go. I mean, it's not perfect or anything like that. It's just a couple pieces added on. Depending on how stretchy your rubber band is, you may need more or less beads. The first one I did needed just four rubber bands going around. Um, but what I found out with this particular one, rubber bands I've been using lately, that I needed to do about five beads. So there goes the second one. We'll just push it in a little bit. Uh, just do what's best, you know, that works out for your spider. You know, um, you may end up having to use six, you know, which is perfectly fine. Spiders have long legs. You just want to make sure that the beads, you know, the spacing on it if is 
relatively okay. You'll see on here, like, you know, there's a couple of turns and stuff, but that looks good. See? So we've done three so far. It does look like we're going to do five on here. Again, we're just going to loop it over, turn, and loop it right over again. Five or six times. You don't want to go any more than that. Um, unless you want really long skinny legs. Uh, I kind of like my spider to have a little bit more bulk in the legs. And then you'll see me adjusting here. Just trying to compensate for the first couple ones that are a little too tight to kind of have a little bit more meat on it as I call it. And then we'll try the last one for me which would be the fifth one on the leg. You just want to do what works and looks good for your spider. Um, sometimes maybe you might end up needing more, sometimes you might end up needing less. So like on this one, you know, I have enough space that maybe I could add another one, but I want to just stick with five. You know, you can just spread it out a little bit more and that's perfectly fine too. Okay, and that's how you pretty much do the beads. Um, just want to continue on and go ahead and finish the rest of the legs. Um, make sure when you're pulling to make sure that they all are attached within that body and leg area and alternate between sides. So I'm going to start on the top leg here on the left side and then keep going down. I'll see you back in a little minute. All we need now is like just a little red pieces here. I guess you can call that the fang or the mouthpiece. You just need to have two reds and three purples. Now on the purple we're just going to go ahead and build a small skeleton. So we're just going to tie them together just like that from end to end. And then we are adding beads. So with the beads, again, we're just looping it around um, the skeleton. I would say about five times is fine. We're gonna add the other one right here to the center one. A little bit more towards the right side. Okay, and you'll see, just like that, spaced it out a little bit. Okay, close up on that. Just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this to the top of the spider. So this is right where his head is. We're going to add it just like this. And then we're actually going to end up looping these pieces around the body. So go right above that leg there. Okay, on the other side, same thing. Just want to kind of loop it, whatever works, to kind of stabilize those pieces onto your spider body. Just attach them however, and whatever works, just make sure that the legs, black beads are still prevalent. They should look like this, something like this. Um, you can space them out more evenly if you want. And then what we're going to do is to kind of stabilize it, we're going to add some 
purple. And this is how it should look like right now. Next we're going to do two small skeletons. It's going to be a pair of white and purple. So just try them just like that. It's going to be a small skeleton. So we need two of those and what this piece is going to be is the web that comes from underneath the spider's body so this is the top of my spider I'm going to go to the back side and attach those pieces on kind of like to do somewhere closer to the middle of the head at the bottom piece there and then just use the purple rubber bands to attach them to the head the body whatever works sometimes I like to intertwine them also you'll see with between the um, legs and what that does is it just helps to define like the spacing where each leg is and you can certainly do that too looking pretty good already 